Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is an earthquake experiment. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a piece of cardboard, some sugar cubes, and two pieces of wood. I use two by fours. This is a map of California. All the red lines are active faults that are in California. Nearly everyone in California lives within 30 miles of an active fault that can cause damaging earthquake. In fact, more than 2,000 faults crisscross California and scientists continue to discover new ones all the time. Earthquakes happen all the time. Since 1994, according to the U.S. Geological Survey, California has experienced 1,172 earthquakes with a magnitude 4.0 or greater. Epicenter is the point of the Earth's surface that is directly above the hypercenter of the focus. You can see the fault line is the point where the earthquake is underground explosion ini initiates and then goes straight up to the epicenter. So I set up my experiment with a piece of cardboard and the red circle right there is the epicenter where the most of the earthquake is going to hit on the focal point and I've got it on two pieces of two by four. So I'm setting up this uh, experiment with sugar cubes representing buildings and houses and I got the main one in the middle of the epicenter and the center uh, dot there and you're going to see that the, as the, the earthquake happens it causes more damage in the middle of the epicenter than it does to the outer sides as we go here. Give it some taps in the middle of the epicenter and you can see the buildings start to separate out a little bit more and uh, as you go the earthquake keeps going there's going to cause more damage you can see some of the buildings uh, around the inside of the epicenter are more damaged or, and continue to get more damaged than the ones on the, uh, the outside here uh, because of the structure and as the earthquake the longer the earthquake is or more of the aftershocks you can see the buildings start to crumble if they're not built properly as I said earlier, I live in California and we have many earthquakes here, but we don't always feel them. Most times we don't even talk about an earthquake around to other people unless it's at least a three or a four. Um, so it has to be pretty hard hit. And all the damage is right there in the middle of the epicenter. This experiment, I'm using more uh, structure of the buildings uh, by putting up more like a towers uh, to see different effects on how it goes. And... When you see same results pretty much as we're going is the epicenter is going to cause most of the damage. A little bit on the outside there, but uh, more towards the middle. Alright, so I put a little bit of weight on the middle uh, building here uh, to help like, keep it a little bit better together. See if that works. A little bit of it fell down, but you can see that um, other buildings are falling farther away from the epicenter where the weights are kind of holding the build, building a little bit get better and sound together. So um, here's a couple uh, screenshots showing you. These are all earthquakes in California uh, that were around 2.0 and the dates listed to them four hours ago, six hours ago, 4.0. And then the next screen, I believe, is 7.0. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe. And thank yourself for not living in California. Thanks for watching.